Mayor Presidio Hernández. Present. Commissioner Lazar Guajardo. Commissioner Bobby Carrillo. Present. Commissioner Ramiro Caballero. Present. Commissioner Daniel Chavez. Commissioner Chavez. Present. Commissioner Present. Ricardo Medina. Uh, Commissioner Isa Flores. Commissioner Isa Flores. Present. We do have Present. a quorum. All right, we need a, a motion to excuse absent members. Motion to excuse. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And those Aye. online, also if you could raise your hand, that way we uh, have a visual confirmation you guys are voting. Thank you. We're, the gentleman is excused. Thank you, Mayor. 1B, Pledge of Allegiance and Invocation. Okay, we're going to do a Pledge of Allegiance. Commissioner Wajardo. Commissioner Wajardo. Father, it's dear Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to come together, even in this format, to continue working for the city of Far. We continue to meet the needs of our city, and we continue to meet with each other, so that so that our city can continue functioning. We thank you for this opportunity. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you. If you all could remain standing, we had a uh, City of Fire employee that was a custodian of the City of Fire, Mr. Jose Gonzalez. He passed away last week. We can do a moment of silence for him. Thank you. Thank you, Hilda, uh, Mayor, Commissioners. Um, next item, public testimony. Hilda, anybody sign up? Nobody signed up. Nobody signed up. Uh, next item, public hearings. Anybody sign up? No, sir. Okay. Uh, city manager's reports. We're going to be real brief. City engineer's reports in your packet, Commissioner's Mayor. Everything is uh, on track. Do you have any questions? Thank you. Submission of the audited financial statements. Yes, sir, the audit is, uh, for all practical purposes, done. No significant findings were brought up to the attention, so we're good with the audit. Okay. Thank you. Uh, five. Consent agenda, all items in the consent agenda are routine and non-controversial, and you can enact them in one motion if you so wish. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, any, any discussion on the items? Consent agenda. Okay. Thank you. Any, any discussion on it? No? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. The motion passes. Thank you. Back to the uh, regular agenda 6A. Consideration and action, if any, on ordinance amending chapter 110 of the FAR Code of Ordinances creating Article 8, Residential Collection Station, providing for a collection and disposal, defining terms and prescribing rates. This is the second reading. Staff recommends approval. So moved. Commissioner Garrido? Second. Second. Commissioner Guajardo? Any discussion on the item? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? It passes. Thank you. Item 6B, consideration action of any resolution appointing or reappointing seven regular members of the Building Standards Commission. Yes, sir. Um, all the members agreed to be reappointed. Um, if you so choose, there's one member that was vacant, and that was requested to be filled by Mr. Rogelio Torres, our previous building official. He is a resident of FAR, and he's very qualified to be on that board. Uh, for, did you guys hear that, commissioners? OK. So do we have a motion, then, or recommendations? What does staff recommend? To to, to reappoint all the members, uh, there was one vacancy and that one to be filled by Mr. Rogelio so, Torres. So moved. Commissioner Carrillo? Commissioner Cabrero. Okay, any discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Okay, it passes. Thank you. Thank you. 7A, consideration action, if any, on change order number two for the High Line 16 inch Wall Line project, bid number 1819-60583C051-051. Yes, sir. This is the, the final change order for the project. The project is done. There was some un unforeseen gas line and some other things that came up. Uh, the amount of the change order is $11,000. Staff is recommending approval. So moved. Second. So the change order is for $11,000, correct? Sure. $11,000. Okay. okay. Does any discussion? Okay. M move to approve already. And second already. Any further discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Opposed? It passes. Thank you. Thank you. 7B, consideration, action, if any, 
authorize the city manager to advertise for bids for earthwork material hauling and related rental equipment for the proposed citywide drainage ditch widening project. Project number 1920-60582-S033-171. Yes, sir, part of our um, improving the drainage <coughs> correction drainage system for the city of Far, we want to expand to the maximum capacity that we can on our drainage ditches. Uh, this is to haul away the dirt in-house. We can dredge the ditch. Uh, we already have an engineer doing a preliminary design on, on where to cut and how much to cut. This is to haul it out. <clears throat> this also has a has a material in there to, in case we need to rent rental equipment, in case our dozer goes down, our scraper goes down, that we have the authorization to rent the equipment also. Uh, total total uh, expenditure should be no more than $700,000 if we choose to do it. Okay, so just for the public clarification for the commissioners that who are uh, at a distance, this is part of our uh, drainage plan. We're talking about specifically the far drains, not the county drains, only our drains. The, and I uh, asked the city manager in to next our next meeting to come bring illustration of what we're talking about. Uh, in, in theory, we just have a uh, semicircle canal, and we're going to be doing different levels in the canal to increase the capacity of those drains that drain the city of far as a whole. And we're going to haul out the dirt, but we have the manpower to do it, but we need some heavy equipment and to move the dirt around. That's really what we're talking about. But we're going to bring the illustrations back uh, uh, at the next meeting so everybody, not only you guys can see it, but also the public of what we're entailing to do. And that will add to the capacity of the, of the water coming off our streets in the, either downtown or south far or even north side of far. And only the city of far drains. That's what we're referring to. So does, and, uh, do you have a motion for approval? So moved. Okay. Second. So moved. Thank you, guys. Uh, any discussion? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Opposed? It passes. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Commissioners. Uh, 8A, consideration action, if any, on the purchase of one 300KW natural gas generator from Holt Power Systems using source well contract number 120617-CAT, project number 1920-7510-P019-001. Yes, sir, as part of our uh, improvements to the bridge facility, uh, the old generator there is outdated and doesn't uh, isn't big enough to to power the entire building. Uh, this was a budgeted item. It's one hundred forty thousand dollars, and Source World is a state bid already. Okay. It's a state bid. It's a state bid already. Okay. Yes, now I'm I'm going to ask. Uh, I don't know about the the commissioner, but so we have a natural gas line that goes out there. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. That's fine. That, that's oh, that was the only question I had. Okay. Any uh, any do you have a motion for approval? So moved. Radio. Second. Second. Okay. Okay. One abstention. Any any dis discussion on that? Item? Otherwise, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. It passes. One abstention. Thank you. Thank you. A nine a consideration action. If any, authorize the city manager to negotiate and enter into a contract with RL abatement for the partial demolition of the city hall first floor renovation project. Through the interlocal purchasing system tips purchasing cooperative project number 1920-40510 c007-001 yes sir as part of our uh, renovations of the first floor of course we have to demolish so we can get new walls and stuff in uh, the price is $160,000 this is the same contract that it did the uh, Sam's building and everything we did downtown park he also did the Boulder building so we know his work and he's very reputable so staff is recommended approval we'll move. Okay. Second. We have a first and a second by Commissioner Carrillo and Dr. Caballero. Does anybody online or here have any discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It passes. Thank you. Uh, 9B, consideration action, on, if any, on memorandum of agreement with the City of FAR and the Federal Emergency Management Agency to operate the integrated public alert system, public alert and warning system. I pause. <clears throat> yes, sir. What this is, um, if you all have seen in the past, when there's an emergency, it's usually a weather alert. It scrolls across your screen. It blinks the screen. It mm -hmm. comes out on your phones. This gives the city of FAR the ability. We're going to control it, us and the county. Um, nobody in the valley has this right now. Okay. Uh, there's 22 contracts out in the state of Texas. They were one of the 22. So we, we will control that system. Wonderful. So move. Sir. Second by Thank you. Do a first and a second. Any discussion on the items? Otherwise, all in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Opposed? It passes. Thank you. Thank you. 9C, consideration action, if any, on utilizing Texas local government code section 252.0221 and 2, public calamity exemption, and to preserve and protect the public health or safety, and to authorize the city manager to negotiate and enter into an agreement for the facility condition assessments and emergency slash disaster usability assessment for the city of FARC facilities. Yes, sir, now that we're in emergency mode, um, it's it's a good idea to get an assessment of all of our buildings. This assessment will give us what the capabilities are, what the strengths are, what the weaknesses are, and how, how can we use those buildings, and what will we need to retrofit to use them in a disaster situation. Um, this is to negotiate and enter into. Uh, we have several people we're looking at. Um, I'll have to come back to you with, with an informal proposal so we can move forward, uh, but hopefully we are doing this, and this time hopefully we'll be reimbursable also. And by any chance, will any of this fall under if we make any of the facilities that we have a uh, COVID-19, um, either education center or uh, an outlet for people to get information besides education, would that fall under the uh, any of the grants that are being offered now by the federal government? Yes, sir. Hopefully, if, if, if it is related to COVID-19, it will be reimbursed. Great. Okay. Uh, do, do, you have, do you have a motion for approval? Motion to approve. Okay. Any, any discussion from our commissioners online? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It passes. Thank you. That's so, now, me before uh, adjourning, I'm sorry. Sorry, Com Commissioner Carrillo. Do you want to expand on the fact that, uh, you know, we, we have uh, the COVID-19. It's a moving target on, on the regulations and the recommendation from CDC. And I'm sure, and uh, if you don't mind explaining to the public, uh, we are a home rule city however the county supersedes us and so before we were going to discuss wearing a mask and uh, social distancing in more detail but at the end of the day we're trying to align ourselves with the county so can right. you expand on that yes sir so um as you know commissioners and mayor and and for the public also we are on top of the COVID 19 crisis we have several conference calls throughout the day uh, with county agencies with other communities with other city managers and city attorneys mayors and the county judge uh, part of the natural involvement of this situation is we're going to end up going to wearing masks like every other city is doing, uh, limiting people in cars, limiting people in stores. Uh, all the cities are passing their own regulations and orders. Um, since everything is preemptive, the city su is superseded by the county, the county is superseded by the feds. Uh, the county has already talked about today issuing a new order. The new order is going to be more restrictive. It's, it's supposedly supposed to be out there to uh, mandate wearing masks. Not necessarily masks, but bandanas, anything you can cloth. use to, co to cover your face. Yes, or cloth. Uh, they, they shied away from surgical masks to keep those for the emergency responders and the healthcare community. Uh, they're going to start limiting the number of people in stores and in cars also, transportation over the road. So uh, staff's recommendation and, and the emergency management is to just follow the county's recommendation and we'll just go by, by what they have. They should be coming out with a new order today. Would you mind repeating that in, or highlighting that in Spanish? Uh, well, that's... So, okay, but, so, para we'll que la gente en, en, entienda lo que está pasando, normalmente la ciudad va a pasar reglas para combatir el, el COVID-19, la enfermedad que está pasando con la distancia, las, las máscaras que se pone la gente, las horas que anda uno, pero el condado siempre este, manda a las ciudades. En vez de tener tantas reglas diferentes, en la ciudad de FAR está siguiendo lo que va a ser el condado. Entonces sabemos muy bien que el condado va a salir con reglas nuevas. Y entonces iban a anunciar ahora las reglas nuevas, pero vamos a esperar mejor que el condado los, ellos los van a mandar a avisar. Y cuando ellos los manden a avisar, entonces la ciudad va a hacer lo mismo que el condado. Porque por ley tenemos que seguir lo que ellos dicen. Y para no andar duplicando los, los documentos, vamos a seguir las reglas de ellos. So esperen que en, en esta semana van a salir reglas nuevas, tocante de cuánta gente pueden dar en un coche, cuánta gente pueden dar juntos en, la, en las calles, qué horas van a cambiar qué tipo de este, este, aparato se puede poner uno en la cara, no tiene que ser algo de, para doctores o enfermeros o lo que sucede en el hospital, las máscaras, puede ser también de algodón, pero todo eso va a salir después, pero para no confundir la gente y para tener un solo mensaje, vamos a esperar, como dice el, el manejador, uh, Ed Wiley, que salga el condado con las reglas y luego vamos a pasar a toda la gente de, de FAR, es lo que estamos hablando. Uh, anything else there, boss? No, sir. Any, other, any commission want to make a comment or concern? No? All right. With that, I have a motion for adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Second.
Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? It passes. We, the, we are adjourned. The time is 4.16. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Commission. Thank you, City Far, for, uh, for this new endeavor doing it online. Thank you. Great job, Hilda and Jose and Rick.